friends, Kate Mosier here. So glad you're joining me for this Warrior 1, 2, 3 series today. Um, I've been thinking about over the last week or so, two questions. One is, what am I willing to give up for the world that I believe is possible? And what kind of warrior do I want to be? When I think about the warrior postures, the Virabhadrasana Asana, I think about Arjuna on the battlefield, and I think about making choices in our lives for um, being in alignment with what we believe. And I wanted to share these um, three postures with you because they help me to come back to myself. They help me to remember. And they also remind me that the world that I want is worth fighting for. And I have tools in my toolbox to be able to show up again and again. And yoga is one of those tools. So I'd like to share that with you today. So we're gonna start with warrior one. All of these postures can be done in the chair um, or standing, that's up to you. The only props I would recommend you have are some blocks if you like to bring the floor a little bit closer to you depending on what we're doing. So I've got my blocks handy here. And we're gonna start in our warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. I'm gonna turn my body towards the right side of my space so that y'all can see um, my body um, from the side. It's easier for y'all to emulate the shape, I think, if you can see me that way. I'm gonna bring my hands to my hips, step forward on that right foot. I'm gonna bend into that right knee, noticing that I can still see my toes out beyond my knee. I'm gonna check in with my back foot, and I'll notice that my stance is a little bit short. side of my space. I'm going to step back with my left leg. I'm going to look behind me as I do it. I'm going to keep those left toes at an angle. I'm going to bend in to that right knee so that I can still see my toes out beyond my knee. I'm going to bring my hands to my hips. My, the front of my hips are facing towards the right side of my space. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to push into my feet so that all four corners of my feet, of both of my feet, are pressing into the ground. I'm going to notice how these sensations feel in my body and decide what I'd like to do next. That might be inhaling my arms up to the sky, letting my gaze lift, shoulders back and down. That might be bringing my arms out to the side with elbows bent, fingers splayed. That might be bringing my hands to heart center. Find your iteration of your warrior today. And then come into your breath. And I invite you to come back to those questions. What am I willing to give up for the world that I want? And what kind of warrior do I want to be? Take a deep breath in and out. On your next inhale, you can either step forward with a bunch of tiny steps or take one big step, whatever works for you and your body today. Pausing here, your hands are at heart center, exhaling them down to the sides. And then bringing your hands back to your hips. This time I'm gonna step back with my right foot as I look behind me. My foot's at an angle. I'm gonna bend into that right front, left front knee gaze comes forward once again. The front of my hips are facing forward. My shoulders are back and down and I'm breathing. I'm checking in with my body once again. How do my legs feel now that my muscles are beginning to turn on in the lower part of my body? And I'm going to decide what I'd like to do with my arms. Remembering that whatever choice you make is always changeable. You can always change your mind. Bringing those shoulders back and down, pressing into the feet, and coming back to this question. What kind of warrior do I want to be? A warrior of peace, of love, of equity, community. What speaks truth for me today? 
wherever you are, lower your arms, bring your hands to your hips, press into that right left front foot and bring that right foot up to meet it. Beautiful. I'm gonna move into warrior two now. I'm gonna show you it from the side once again. I'm gonna step back with that left leg. So I'm gonna bring my hands to my hips, turn my gaze behind me, come back quite wide. I'm gonna turn my toes towards my camera. My right toes, I'm gonna walk forward a little bit more, bending in to those right knees. Hands stay on the hips here for a moment. That back left knee has a slight micro bend in it, so don't lock that back knee out. My shoulders are back and down. I'm breathing. And then if you like more sensation, you can inhale your arms up and out to opposite sides of your space. Palms can come down. You can also bend your elbows, bringing your palms up to the sky. Or you can keep your hands on your hips, whatever feels wonderful for your body today. And come back. What kind of warrior do I want to be? And lowering your arms if they're raised, you can even bring them to your hips, turning those right toes forward, finding yourself in a wide stance, turning those left toes out this time. My back right foot is facing towards my camera. I like a big wide stance today. I'm going to bend into that front left knee, looking down for a moment, checking on those toes, finding that micro bend in my right knee. I'm going to inhale my arms up and out, shoulders back and down, pressing into my feet, turning on your core here. So really engaging your whole body in this warrior stance. What kind of warrior do you want to be? Beautiful. Exhale your arms back down. Turn those left toes forward. You can heel toe your feet back to center. Find your way into mountain for a moment. Your Tadasana, grounding down in the feet once again. Shoulders back and down. Turning on the heat in my body for sure. And breathe. 